Hello people, welcome to Science Shunt. Today we're going to be talking about DNA replication. Now on this page you can see there's a few clues as to what happens and why it happens. So first of all, the why. Um, whenever a cell divides into two cells, you need the DNA in the nucleus to also be basically photocopied so you have a full copy in each cell. This is needed for growth and repair. So that's the why it happens. And then the how it happens, you've got a few clues on the side. So first of all, you've got your DNA double helix. It has to unzip. You've got two strands, a leading strand and a lagging strand. Don't worry too much about that. Basically, that determines the direction. So the direction of DNA replication is going from five prime to three prime. That would be the leading continuous strand. And then the other strand, which um, also happens five prime to three prime because it never goes three prime to five prime. But because it's going in the opposite direction, it can only do it in small little sections at a time. And those things are called Okazaki fragments. Down here, you've got a few more details, but we'll get into that. Um, first of all, basically, we've got three different things here. We've got initiation, elongation, and termination. And it gets fairly complex, but we'll break it down into like little bits. So first of all, we've got the initiation. This is the, the starting um, point, and you have your double helix, and your helix must open up. Then you've got elongation, and in the elongation, what's occurring is um, bases have to be added down here. So wherever you have an A, you have a T. Wherever you have a T, you have an A. Wherever you have a C, you have a G, C, G, A, and T. So this is a complementary strand of DNA being made. So let's just draw it like this. And of course, the same happens on this side as well. Okay, like that. This is called elongation because you're, you're, make, you're adding uh, DNA bases onto the unzipped part of the DNA. And eventually you end up with a situation like this. So each new strand has a new strand as well as an old strand and because the old strand is conserved we call this semi-conservative replication so dna replication is indeed semi-conservative so we've talked about initiation initiation is the unzipping of the dna elongation is the adding of these bases and then finally you've got to have termination and this is where an enzyme comes and basically uh, closes it all off. Right, we've got to talk about enzymes. First of all, an enzyme is a biological catalyst and it basically causes biochemical reactions to happen. And they all, always end in the letters A-S-E. And I've put a uh, little example here. Protease is an enzyme that breaks down protein. So when we've got this situation with DNA, we've got five different enzymes at play. So let's just write them in. So the first enzyme is going to be helicase. Now helicase opens up the helix. DNA being a double helix shape, right? Then what you want is you need to start adding these bases and you need a primer to start with and a primase adds a primer. Okay. Following that, you need to make this long, long piece of DNA. It's a polymer, basically. And for that, you need a DNA polymerase. So DNA polymerase adds nucleotides we can say it adds bases if you want to be a little bit simple about it. Um, adds bases. Okay, and these are these letters over here where you have a complementary base for every base of DNA. Okay, 
then what you've got to do is you, you've got to remove the primer once you've finished the, the, the adding of the bases. You've got to remove the primer and for that we need an exonuclease. This gets rid of the primer. And finally, we want one more. I've run out of space over here, but you've got to close it all off. And to close off um, the, the DNA, you've got to have a ligase. So a ligase um, closes off and it terminates the reaction. Closes off the DNA. And that's basically it. That's um, DNA replication in a nutshell. This is a list of all of the enzymes. So again, helicase opens up the helix. Primase adds a primer so that the reaction can begin. DNA polymerase, it adds bases. The exonuclease removes the primer. And then finally, the ligase closes off uh, the DNA. So you end up with two distinct strands. And that's it. I hope that made uh, sense for you. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.